All right, in this video, we're going to see if a single replacement reaction is likely to occur. And so to do that, we're going to look at the reaction. So here's one here, sodium plus KCl. So sodium is the single atom by itself. We say, what is sodium going to try to replace? So sodium is a metal, so it's going to try to replace the metal. The metal in this is K, also on the left side of the staircase. So the question is, can sodium replace K? And to determine this, we want to say, is sodium more reactive than K? The more reactive element can replace a more less reactive element. So remember, for metals, you're more reactive down and to the left, generally. There are a lot of exceptions in these types of cases to this. I will not give you any problems that have these exceptions. But sodium is not as far down to the left as K. K is more reactive. So because K is more reactive than sodium, this reaction will not occur because sodium does not have enough reactivity to push out the K. So that's the case. This next problem, I'm looking at RB is by itself. It's trying to replace, now that's a metal, it's going to try to replace SR, which is also a metal. So here's RB, here's SR. RB is further down to the left in this trend, so RB is more reactive than SR, so it can successfully push SR out and make this product. So this is likely to occur. Next, my single element is F2, and I know it's not just F, it's F2, that doesn't matter, just like the fact that this is 2RB doesn't matter, just the RB. So F's a non-metal right here, it's going to try to replace chlorine, which is a non-metal as well. Now for non-metals, they get more reactive as you go up and to the right, with the exception of the noble gases, which don't react. So F is farther up and to the right, it is more reactive than chlorine, it can push it out, so this is likely to occur. Iodine is by itself, it's a non-metal, it's going to try to push out Br. So if I find iodine's here, Br is here, iodine is less reactive, so it does not have the oomph to push Br out, so it is not likely to occur. And that's really it. And again, there are a lot of exceptions here, and even if one is likely to occur, sometimes it doesn't have the energy to do it, so the reaction doesn't really happen. There's a lot more to this, but this is just the real basic level understanding. And again, realize there are exceptions to this rule here, um, in terms of things like, for example, gold doesn't really react at all and aluminum does, and that violates our trend here. So I will only give you problems that the trend uh, matches up and, and works. Okay, so until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.